Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another Facebook Live tutorial here on Tuesday from New Tech in San Antonio. And today we're going to continue our series of video tutorials that deal with Virtual Set Editor. This is an application available in the New Tech web store that allows you to create your own custom virtual sets or modify pre-made content or even create multi-layered video effects. Well, so far we've been, look, we've been looking at different types of virtual sets and modifications that can be made to them, but today I want to look at a completely new type of virtual set. We're going to go into Virtual Set Editor, and we're going to take a look at creating holographic virtual sets. Holographic virtual sets are created from panoramic images, so if I'm creating one from scratch, I would load this from Panorama and choose a panoramic image. I'm going to go ahead and load one that we've already got a project for, and that's City Hall right down here. So I'm going to load City Hall up and take a look at how this works. Now you'll see that we have an image, this is a panoramic image in the background, and if I left click with the mouse and I drag, I can drag through this image and I can see the background and I can see that I have two areas for talent that are set up. And this is a full 360 degree image, I can even look up and then down at the ground. So it's a spherical image. Now, if I right click, I can push in and out. So this does give me the ability to move this camera around and you can do this in the live production environment and animate between these different uh, camera settings. So I also want to take a look and have you notice that this has a mask. So there's a mask image right here, which is the city hall mask image and it's just this gate. And that allows us to put the talent behind the gate and it does have alpha channels, so it's just the actual gate itself that is in front of the talent, allowing them to walk behind the gate and give you a much more realistic view. Now as we spin around here, we might think that this talent's a little bit close, so again, this is going to be input B, which can be modified. We can shrink them down, we can put them over here on the, on the uh, sidewalk, wherever we want them. And then again, we have the ability not only to pan around inside but also zoom in and zoom out inside of this 360 degree environment that we can now work within. And this allows you to create a very quick virtual set environment from an image, a panoramic image, spherical image, or even just a standard image. So let's take a look at how we would create one of these. I'm going to say I want to make a new one, or I'm actually going to open one from a panorama. And I have a lot of panoramic images here that I can use. So I just need to grab one of these panoramic images and load it up. And when I do, we can see that we now have this environment that we're working within. We're spinning around with the left mouse and we're ready to go ahead and have our talent in the, in the scene as well. So the talent currently is right here. Again, we can scale them and position them and put them wherever we want. That can either be done here or the scaling, positioning, and moving of this talent can also be done from within inside the TriCaster Live environment itself. You do have that ability inside of the ME to manipulate these layers once you're in there. So just because you have the talent set in a certain position inside a virtual set editor, they don't have to remain there. You can move them around and make changes once you get out into uh, the live production environment. So if you needed to create a virtual environment, say the office for a CEO to be able to give corporate briefings from, you could very easily just take a picture of that environment, even mask out the desk so that the CEO can sit behind the desk and literally from a very small amount of green screen be able to produce these corporate trainings or corporate announcements from anywhere and look like they're coming from the home office from behind the desk. It's a great way to enhance your productions and add more value to your virtual sets. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have topics or comments, please put them down below. And join us again next Tuesday for another in this series of tutorials on Virtual Set Editor live on Facebook. I'm Don Balance. Thanks for watching.